Hello, welcome to the Center Maths Problem of the Week. In this week's problem, we're given f of x equals 5 plus e to the negative x squared, and we're being asked to find the limits of, f of f of x, um, both as it approaches negative infinity and infinity, um, and then find the critical points of, uh, of the function. So first, when we're finding the limit, um, we see that uh, negative x squared, um, which means that um, whether we use negative infinity or positive infinity, um, is going to go uh, the same way. So we can do them both at the same time. And of course, um, infinity and negative infinity squared are just going to be infinity um, because they're just going to get infinitely larger. So we can go ahead and write that um, our next step, which is 5 plus e to the negative infinity. And then uh, it might be easier to, to look at this if we rewrite it um, as a fraction. So this is equal to 5 uh, plus 1 over e to infinity, or to, uh, yeah, over e to infinity. Um, so this is going to get infinitely large, which means if you have a denominator that's getting infinitely large, um, you're going to be approaching zero. So this term approaches zero, uh, this term is five, so the limit is going to be five. Right. So we have our limit um, as it approaches negative infinity and infinity. So now we just need to find um, the critical points. Uh, so to do that, we're gonna have to take the derivative of f of x. So f prime of x um, is equal to negative two x uh, times e to the negative x squared. Um, so the critical points are everywhere uh, where the function is, um, or well, the, where the derivative is like either equal to zero, or it is, um, or it is uh, undefined. Uh, if we look at this, we can see that it's going to be defined everywhere. Um, so we can just go ahead and find where it equals zero. Um, if we look at our function, we see that. Um, everything's being multiplied by x. So uh, this function equals zero when x equals zero. So uh, that concludes this week's problem of the week. Uh, make sure you check us out on Facebook and Twitter and take a look at our blog at centermath.org. Thank you.